the Shazami combo, the two-wheel drive excursion, the F2 shell, the quality just gets better and better, unlike my racing. Couple of months, I'm gonna end up with just a set of goggles coming out of a hoodie that's pulled tight um, and possibly in a sleeping bag. It's not going well for me in that front. Um, we need to be better. I also stand with my legs really far apart and it's really difficult for the person next to me to get anywhere close. To yeah, is that Island RC? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need them tires after all. Oh yeah, is that Island RC? Yeah. Yeah, the Azamis were great. Yeah, I shouldn't need to buy too many more tyres from you now. Hopefully they're going to last a bit longer. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks, mate. Oh. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to Shawnee RC. First and foremost, an apology. This video was supposed to be lots of different camera angles. I lost the footage. So, thankfully, Chris recorded the finals as he always does every week at our local club so we're going to use that so just a small update before we get stuck into the changes that i made on the l1r on tuesday night and it was truly awesome my ld3 last time out i planned a massive video because i'm going to film every single week but it was a complete and utter disaster she looks fast but she really wasn't now I'm quite an aggressive kind of hard driver and I found with my B7, the outdoor and the indoor setup, if you ran something in between, you could get away with kind of running indoors and outdoors. It wasn't optimum, but it went round. The LD3 I found, you can't do that. If I push the car as hard as I want indoors with a, you know, with an outdoor-ish setup on, it's a complete nightmare for me. So it's back to the drawing board with that. We have been ordering galore parts because we are going full carpet spec. Full carpet spec on the LD3. Just a few options. This is just to start. I'm not saying you need these on your car, but this is gonna be all part of the setup I'm gonna put together. So first and foremost, I've got some new batteries. Six 400s from Intellect. They should give me the power that I need. We're going with the black rear spring. I've got a black front spring, but I'm gonna go with an orange for the front, both high, high response springs. Carbon wishbones, front and rear. Brass bulkhead, but anyway, there's, that's not what we've got this video going for. Let's just put that back, that's future videos, future videos. Um, and also don't forget this weekend, yeah, 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 yeah. The N1E is coming back and we've got softer oils, softer tires, bigger batteries. So we're gonna record everything this coming Sunday. Anyway, let's get to the L1R. Now, now let's have a look at this L1R because I'm gonna say that this setup and this car on that surface, with these tires, the armies, hands down to date has been the best I've ever felt a four wheel drive on carpet. Now, the first thing I did was take this shell off. That shell for me, it was good, but this shell, which is the Penguin Slayer, I would probably say it feels similar-ish to the JCF2, you know, where it steps down. Whether it's a placebo or not, it looked and felt miles better indoors than the kit shell. But that's just me. And by the way, these have done five or six runs and they still look the same. I'm also running the shards and we call this combo the Shazami, the Shazami combo. So we've got currently in here, the Centro C10 ESC, which is rigged up to the latest Hobbywing 10.5. 
It's got the Fly Sky receiver. It's got a Savox servo in there. Not for any particular reason other than that's just what I had. Uh, setup wise, I'm going to do a sheet which I'm going to link in the description at some point. But I think the biggest changes for me for this car this time around was I went to a 20k in the front, 20k in the rear diff for this car. Um, two gears front and rear. Now I have got uh, currently a blue spring on the front possibly going to change that to an orange but it was very good and then I've got a black with a blue spring on it currently um, because I actually borrowed a set of blacks off my friend Paul Waldron RC um, so the spring on the rear I was running was the black so I found that actually supported the rear I found going into this uh, race um, that the car was really good it was collapsing a little bit on the rear so I actually just put a black spring on um, obviously I've got the roll bars front and rear. Uh, shock package, which I think made the biggest difference in this video. So we have got 650 in the front, 550 in the rear. We have got um, 1.6, two hole pistons in the front, just the standard kits, pistons, they're not machined, they're the molded pistons, soon to be changed and a 1.8 piston in the rear of this car uh, and with the oils and the combo it was a sensational car to drive and you know what the best thing about it there's so much more to come from this car and can we just appreciate for one second before we get into the video Oh, you'll also notice I'm running a gigantic 40 mil fan because as I say, I'm quite hard on the throttle. So we've got a standard 30 mil fan there. And also for the extra boost, a huge gigantic fan there, which I'm not actually sure if I need it at the moment. Um, but I normally I always overheat my cars um, or it's close. This I could push to the absolute limits and it was coming off about 68 degrees. So it was actually perfect. So can we just appreciate for one second, people, one second, the old color scheme, but not, not the color scheme, just how good this shell looks. Ooh. Yeah. If that doesn't scream carpet slayer, I don't know what does. Anyway, let's get to the video. So off to a start, and we are off to a fantastic start actually, and unfortunately Chris the TQ has an early mistake, and that proves to be extremely costly. It would have been an awesome fight uh, for, the, for the top spot, I think, in this final. Uh, but onto the car, just warming up laps now, just getting into it. So this is the final, and this corner here, going onto there, the car will just fold up awesome. It would just go through that S section, just incredible. You can see the steering in this car, I could put it anywhere I wanted it. Um, obviously, like I say, I'm not saying I'm a professional driver in any standards, but it was just so easy to drive. I could pinpoint this to any hairpin. Uh, it, it was a stock, it's a stock class, so the gearing was just fantastic. And so we're currently in the first place and we've got Graham behind us. Um, and Graham was no slouch on the night either. So we've managed to get near enough half a lap on the field currently and if you look on the rostrum first person that's me looking like Darth Vader I've got this thing when I I'm racing at the moment and it's getting worse as I get older I need to cocoon myself with a hat and a hoodie and I think soon within the next uh, couple of months I'm going to end up with just a set of goggles coming out of a hoodie that's pulled tight um, and possibly in a sleeping bag it's not going well for me in that front um, we need to be better. I also stand with my legs really far apart and it's really difficult for the person next to me to get anywhere close to having space. Uh, but anyway, back onto the car. So we've got a really good lead now. Chris is currently being racing, held up uh, at the at, towards the back, trying to get rid of Adam. I paid Adam T 
10 pounds 50 to hold Chris up the entirety of the race and he did fantastic. So Adam, send me your PayPal address and I will pay you now. But back to the car, it's just so easy to drive. You know, absolutely zero mistakes at this point. It was just going round and round and I could just place it where I wanted. The extra support around this corner here, um, I could literally just come off the throttle at the end of the straight and lean on the car and it would just do exactly what I want uh, when I wanted it. And it was just awesome. I've not raced this an L1R on carpet for probably what seems to be like over a year now. Um, and to go with straight out in the rust, straight out in the meeting and um, not only win the meeting, but uh, bad luck to Chris and the others um, having some bad luck. But, you know, for a start in the winter four wheel drive campaign, it's truly remarkable. So just putting in the laps, just putting in the laps, just literally the same lap, lap after lap. I think the I got the fastest lap that I got in this race uh, in the last final and the tyres have done five heats. So the Azamis are, are proven to be good and they were getting faster and faster. Um, and I think I had the fastest lap by two temps in this race um, or the one before, um, which is at the end of the night. So yeah, and to be honest guys, this is, this is how, it, how it stayed. This is how it stayed. As I say, it's a, it's a really quick video. Um, it wasn't, I didn't get the footage that I wanted, but what I did want to show you was just how good this car was. And I wanted to update you on the changes that I'd made. So just prepare yourselves. I'm hoping that you're going to enjoy the journey and come along the journey with me. So we've got the L1R, which we're going to keep working on because the, the, the guys here are not slow. You know, Chris is just an absolute master. Dunford, all the guys, the Richards family, the whole lot, you know, this club is ferociously good at the moment. So we've got the L1R. The LD3 we need to work on and the journey's gonna start next week and we're gonna film the whole lot. So I'd love for you to come along with that journey as well. And I'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings on any brand of car that you're running when it comes to running carpet. I have also painted specifically for the two wheel drive excursion the F2 shell for the two wheeler. So that's it guys, that's it from me. Just a quick update on what's to come. As I say, the next video you're probably gonna see as a, as a news uh, video, which is coming up for Saturday, possibly, maybe tomorrow. Uh, and then following on from there, we've got the N1E ape scale race on Sunday. We've got the big two wheel drive race on Tuesday, and then we're just gonna carry on. We're going to go from there. Thanks for watching. If you've watched to the end, don't forget to subscribe. I'm really enjoying making these videos and I'm learning every time. So hopefully the quality just gets better and better, unlike my racing. Yeah, is that Island RC? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to need them tyres after all.